Cliff and I just received our 3INQ Mega Home Security System um, security cameras. So we figured that we would do an unboxing and a review video for all of our viewers. Um, so I just went ahead and opened one of the cameras. In the box you get the security camera, the AC power cord and antenna, an extension power cord, and then the tools that you'll need to mount the camera to your house or outside building or inside of your room, whichever you desire. And then of course the user's manual. Um, this camera here we chose because it has a 10 times zoom. It is a four megapixel camera, so it's not you know super high quality like 4K, but it still will do the job. Um, and this camera head here, there's actually two, two cameras, and I'll show those to you. There's a wide angle lens, um, excuse me, a wide angle lens, and then a zoom lens. And then it also has uh, on the side of the camera, we're going to use them outside, so this was important. But it has the two floodlights, one on each side. And then this camera is also able to go into night vision mode and still have the capability to zoom. Um, the only downfall about this camera is that it does have to be connected to a power source all of the time. There's no internal battery, um, but we planned on doing that anyways. And this camera will connect directly to your Wi-Fi so you have control from your phone um, if that's something that you would like to utilize. And then you can either connect this camera to a cloud system so everything is saved essentially through the app and then onto your phone or there is a spot for a 20 eight or excuse me 128 um gigabyte card but it does not come equipped with that so if that's something that you wanted to do was store all of the information right on the camera you would have to go ahead and purchase that card um separately so here um the camera this is the way the camera would be set up um so you'll mount it right here through the back and then you have your reset button your ethernet cable if you wanted to hardwire the camera rather than do everything remotely through Wi-Fi and then just the simple power connector. Um, this camera, so let's show you here. The power cord that comes with the camera, so this is just the standard um, cord here. And then like I said, it does have an extension. I think it's like up to just over two and a half meters. So it really doesn't get you a whole lot of length, um, but we already had looked on Amazon and you can purchase up to like 150 a hundred feet of cable for um, that extension if you needed it so that's that extension piece there um, but let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how to get this camera connected to your phone through the app so the first thing that we have to do in order to pair the camera is go ahead and get it plugged in so once you do that you'll notice that the red light comes on on the wide angle camera down here and then the front lights on the camera do shut, turn on. So right now it's just kind of checking out its surroundings. So that gimbal head goes 90 degrees back and forth and then it can go up to 355 degrees around in the circumference. So let's go ahead and get this paired. Um, here is a step-by-step -step process that you can follow right in the user's manual. It makes it super easy. Um, so if you're somebody that likes to follow all the directions. And like I mentioned, this camera is run through the app. Without the app, it's useless. So in order to run this system, you do need to have an Android or iOS smartphone. So we're going to go ahead, we'll scan our QR code. And you'll notice right on the top of your smartphone that will open up the app that you need. So there's no searching for it through your app store. So we'll go ahead and get that downloaded. Okay, the next thing you need to do is either sign in if you already have an existing account or go ahead and create one. So I'm just going to go ahead and get signed in. So we are signing in. And with this system you can connect multiple cameras through your home base. So this is just asking if it wants us to send notifications, so we'll allow that. Um, I do not like to save my password. The next thing, once you're signed into the app, you can go ahead and click Add Device. The first thing it's going to do is ask you here if you will allow your phone to connect to the network. Now you do want to allow this because this network that it's speaking of is the actual network 
um, response system in the camera. So you're going to go ahead and allow that. Change your region depending upon where you're from. And then on the side of the camera, um, you'll notice here that your camera is actually blinking red, which is a sign that it needs to be connected. Um, there's another QR code, so all you have to do here is go ahead and scan your code. You want to confirm that you see the red flashing lights, and if you don't, you can reset it. Um, there's two places to reset the camera. Here, if you were to rotate the camera, there's a place inside of the camera to reset it. You'll see just a simple reset button. Now this is also where you would put your memory card. So there's a button in there to reset it. It's pretty hard to see, but I'm just gonna go ahead and close that. Okay. So we've confirmed that our camera lights are flashing red. It wants us to join the network. We're going to allow that. So now it's just searching for the camera to pair. Okay, so it's picked up the camera with the phone, which is good. Then you want to um, select your Wi-Fi and put in your password. Now this Wi-Fi that you just signed into, that is your home Wi-Fi. So it'll prompt you to select your Wi-Fi and then your specific password to allow the camera to connect to your home Wi-Fi. So right now that's all it's doing is it's pairing. You hear it beep. And then it gives you camera a little countdown. Ready. So the camera just told us that it's ready and you'll notice the red lights are now blinking green. So you'll let it go through this connection process. It shouldn't be too much longer here. Okay, and then it will prompt you to name your device. You can name it obviously whatever you want. So we're just gonna go ahead and name it house and then you'll click done and then hit OK. And now what it wants you to do is actually um, set up your two cameras. So like I mentioned earlier, this does have a dual camera system. There's a wide angle lens and then a zoom lens. So what we're going to do now is just match our lenses up. So we'll hit next. It's showing you what you need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and get that set. And we'll click this. So now it's just gathering its position. Okay, so it gathered all of its position and then it wants you to just match your lenses. So pretty much what's that, what that's showing you is on your top camera, which is A, is your zoom angle lens and then your wide angle lens. So it wants to just ensure that your cameras are paired and matched correctly. So here on your wide angle lens, it wants to make sure that what the crosshairs are on on the wide angle is actually what the zoom camera is also um, highlighted on. So if that matches, you're gonna go ahead and click confirm. Now if it didn't, you would just move this camera, excuse me, move this camera around so that it matched up um, pretty spot on there. So then we'll hit confirm. And now we're completed. So now the camera is paired to your Wi-Fi, the lenses are matched, so now I will go ahead and just show you the quality of this camera. So we're just gonna go back We'll go back and then it pops up. This is the cloud system that I was talking about earlier. So if you wanted to, you can have all of your encrypted videos and pictures sent to the cloud storage versus the actual memory card. If that's what you wanted to do, you can go ahead and set that up. Um, it does give you a 30 day free trial. Otherwise you will have to pay for it um, following 30 days. So we're going to skip that for now and let's get into the quality of this camera. So now because this camera is always on, or connected to power, it's always on. So all you have to do is click on your camera there, and you will actually hear my voice being picked up by the camera. So what this does, I'm going to go ahead and mute that for a moment, but you can actually talk through your cell phone into your security camera. So that's kind of a nice system if you had somebody there dropping off a package or you, you was using it as security and you wanted to kind of scare someone off the property, that is an option. Um, so you see our quality right here. It's kind of hard to see because it's so bright in the background. Um, so we have our wide angle camera here at the bottom 
and then the zoom camera on the top. So we'll go ahead, that's one time zoom. Um, you can turn it and control the camera there. And then if we wanted to, we could also just zoom in on a specific area. And we can adjust our zoom here by clicking, I don't know if you saw that or not, but I just clicked the zoom and now we're gonna go in 10 times on that specific spot that I selected on the wide angle lens frame. So we're down here. Now we can turn it over here. Whoops, you gotta drag that, sorry. So now we're gonna move the camera over here. Let's adjust our zoom a little bit. So we're gonna click and drag that back. All right, that's pretty good though. So you're all seeing what we're seeing here. Minimal snow in January and it's like 35, 36 degrees out. Wild. Um, so just some other things here within the app. Um, so this is what you would see when you actually open up the main screen of your app. This is your dashboard, they call it. Um, so here at the bottom, you can expand all of your options. Like I mentioned, the voice option there, if you wanted it, you can hit your record button, take a picture, um, and once you give your cell phone the the um, permission, it will save those images right to your camera roll as well. So you can talk if you want to, turn the volume up or down. Um, you can engage the night vision, the IR light, black and white. All of your options are there. It's very, very user friendly. Um, we can go back to our live mode. We can go back to the playback. So because I do not have the memory card in there, that is not an option for us right now, so we'll just hit OK, but that's where you would um, achieve that. So all in all, this INQ Mega Security Camera is definitely going to do the job for us. Um, like I said, we went ahead and bought uh, three cameras all together, so we'll get all of those paired through the app like I just showed you all how to get that setup done. Um, right now, this Mega retails for $89.99, but they do have a $10 coupon code running right now through Amazon. So if you're interested, um, you can go ahead and get the product right through Amazon and take advantage of that $10 off coupon. This camera system is completely waterproof. Um, it's made to be out in the elements, so that's another reason we purchased it. Um, like I said, it can the gimbal can rotate 90 degrees, and then it can also go in 355 degrees. So almost a full circle, not quite but it'll definitely get done what we want it to get done. Um, it does have track motion capabilities, so if you did have somebody coming onto your property or um, something in that regard, it does have the capability to go ahead and just track that motion fluidly. It, you don't actually have to follow that person or that moving object manually. The camera will do it individually. The camera will do it independently without you commanding it to do so. Um, so that's another nice feature. Um, other than that, I think it's a very nice made camera. They do have in the little box, I forgot to mention, this um, customer service card. So if you had any questions, all you have to do to reach customer support is scan the QR code on the back with a smartphone and it would directly link you to the customer support team. Um, there's also an email if you had that as well, and they do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee return policy once you reach out to them. So all in all, we're very happy with the camera system so far. Um, we can't wait to get these set up outside. Take care.